beating street estimates on both revenue and net profit, IT giant Infosys has posted strong numbers for the third quarter of FY23. India's second largest information technology company also raised its revenue guidance for FY23 because of a strong deal pipeline, despite the uncertain global macroeconomic environment. Infosys said that it expected revenue growth in the range of 16 to 16.5 percent in the current financial year, against the earlier projection of 15 to 16 percent. However, Infosys Chief Executive Officer and Managing Director Salil Parekh said that delays in decision-making and uncertainties were impacting sectors like investment banking, telecom and retail. A senior analyst also said that the uncertain global macro environment would reflect an earnings volatility in FY24 for Infosys, adding that the firm's long-term growth outlook was still intact. Tata Consultancy Services too beat revenue expectations in the third quarter but missed the mark on profit estimates and the management issued a positive demand commentary. Analysts said that a quarterly decline of over 2,200 employees in the total headcount and an almost 4% shrinkage in deal bookings were indicators that pointed towards a slowdown. According to Jeffries, along with the falling employee headcount, TCS's book-to-bill ratio, which was at its lowest in three years, pointed to a sharp growth moderation in FY24. The book-to-bill ratio is the ratio of the orders received to units shipped and billed for a given period. For its part, while Motilal Oswal said that reduced demand visibility remained a key risk for FY24 growth, TCS was well positioned to withstand the weakening macro environment given its order book and exposure to long duration orders. The consolidated net profit and consolidated revenue numbers of HCL Technologies 2 came out better than estimates. However, analysts said that the management's narrowed revenue and margin guidance for FY23 indicated softness in the fourth quarter of the current financial year on the back of seasonal weakness and a drop in the products and platforms business. According to Jeffries, HCL Tech's higher exposure to the products and the engineering, research and development businesses could drag revenues in a recessionary environment. According to Nirmal Bang, a few soft quarters were likely in the foreseeable future. Analysts also foresee significant margin pressures. However, according to Motilal Oswal, given HCL Tech's infrastructure management services and digital space capabilities, strategic partnerships and investments in cloud, the firm was likely to emerge stronger on the back of a healthy demand environment. At Infosys, the net profit for Q3 came in at 6,586 crore rupees, up 13.4% year-on-year and 9.4% sequentially. Its revenue grew 20.2% year-on-year to 38,318 crore rupees. It was up 4.9% sequentially. Meanwhile, Tata Consultancy Services reported a 19% year-on-year revenue growth to 58,229 crore rupees. Net profit rose 11% year-on-year to 10,800 and 46 crore rupees. For its part, HCL Tech reported a 20% rise in its consolidated net profit for Q3 FY23 at 4,096 crore rupees against 3,442 crore rupees a year ago. Its consolidated revenue from operations increased 19.61% to 26,700 crore rupees against 22,321 crore rupees a year ago. Wipro reported a 2.82% growth in consolidated net profit for the third quarter of FY23 at 3,053 crore rupees against 2,969 crore rupees recorded a year ago. The consolidated revenue from operations was up 14.35% at 23,229 crore rupees against 20,314 crore rupees in the corresponding quarter last year. Overall, analysts have cautioned that the stagflationary environment in the West could affect tech spending in FY24. Against this backdrop, what do the latest IT results and guidance have to say about the sector's future? Another insight uh, believes that the Indian IT services uh, sector has seen a bit of a slowdown. Uh, this year, we expect the industry to grow FY24. We expect the industry to grow between 10 to 12 percent. A large part of the growth will be driven by uh, tier 2, tier 3 players who will continue to grow slightly faster than uh, their tier 1 players between 12 to 15 percent. Uh, FY24, we believe, is going to be a year of consolidation and uh, cost cuts and largely uh, a margin improvement focused year. I think FY24, you could see easily a, a 0 0.4 uh, to a close to a percentage improvement for margins for some of the players which are doing very uh, efficiently on the talent supply chain front. Uh, so you could see 
your overall wage bills getting normalized your retention budgets your attrition budgets getting uh, cut down drastically compared to fy22 and 23 growth path of it companies will continue and uh, the environment uh, uh, may become slightly more difficult going further because of the competition and the changing buying behavior which we see and i am not much worried uh, from a recession perspective because we are not hearing from either the clients or the providers that they are seeing this as a big threat but um, uh, it companies indian it companies need to be uh, you know continue with its innovation and uh, with its shift towards more digital that is going to be the key because some of them are having you know huge legacy workload which may become a kind of a challenge for them Infosys managed to bring attrition down to 24% in Q3 compared to 27% in the preceding quarter. In Q3, the attrition rate of TCS was lower than that of Infosys. The Tata Group firm brought down its attrition rate marginally from 21.5% in Q2 FY23 to 21.3% in the latest quarter. However, hiring dropped at TCS. The employee addition number for Infosys was also soft at about 1600 for the quarter. For Q3 FY23, HCL Tech's attrition stood at 21.7%, lower than the 23.8% September quarter reading, and HCL Tech added almost 6000 freshers during the latest quarter. So going ahead which direction will IT attrition and hiring move in overall uh, this year FY24 coming year is going to be largely focused on internal fulfillment uh, utilization of bench and a lot of freshers that were hired uh, that are going to be hired in Q4 uh, utilization of all of those uh, internal resources and reskilling upskilling uh, so overall gross hiring FY22 we saw Uh, the highest gross hiring of about 1.5 million professionals in the entire sector fy23 we are seeing the dip uh, by end of this quarter you will see the overall gross hiring number touch about 1.2 million professionals and fy24 with attrition tapering down uh, and uh, with overall ne- net new addition also slowing down uh, uh, as usual because of the large uh, i mean because of the slowdown in the business we believe that fy24 gross hiring would touch about 1 million professionals overall while a likely moderation in attrition will benefit the it sector much of its fate could still depend on how severe the projected recession in its major american and european markets will be if you like this video share it and subscribe to business standard For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.